it's not always a party. It's a lot of work. So the openers here at one or two, and they're maybe not, they're oftentimes on a weekend aren't getting home until one in the morning. Uh, so that's just an opening shift. And then the, you know, the closing bartender gets in at six and they can be here as late as four sometimes. So it's a lot of work, you know, the days are long. Oftentimes you're not getting much sleep before you have to be back in. Uh, I think you know, the misconception is that it's, it's a fun job you make a lot of money at, and that's true. But especially at this level, the amount of time outside work that they're putting in, just on you know, going home and reading blogs, researching cocktail menus in other cities and other markets. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not always a party. first started bartending, the spirits in our well and our back bar were really just you know, a, a vehicle to get somebody inebriated. The base spirit's kind of a foundation that all the other pieces of, are sitting on. You have the acid and the sugar and the modifier, and maybe some herbal notes, some bitters. Uh, I want to see all those interplaying together. I should be able to taste all of them, and they should all be balanced. There's hours of prep before that we can even make that one cocktail. Some of my crew has been here since one, making syrups, juicing, peeling lemons, peeling oranges. Uh, slicing citrus, getting all the garnishes prepped, so it's not always a party. It's, you know, when we started this venture, the goal was to, to put out um, well, well executed drinks and sort of take the vest off and loosen the tie to just make a place people can be comfortable. I mean, I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt right now. The, the process and that, that visual is uh, just as important as you know the, the drink. When you're good at it, it's amazing. It's a lot of fun. It's so little about that cocktail and more about all those other variables that take place throughout the night.